Haiti's Prime Minister Ariel Laundry said he was resigning amid mounting international pressure following gang violence that has pushed the capital to the brink of civil war. Caribbean nations secured Ariel Laundry's resignation at an emergency meeting of CARICOM in Jamaica on March 11. Caribbean leaders met behind closed doors for several hours to discuss how to halt Haiti's spiraling violence. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken attended the meeting in Jamaica along with senior officials from Brazil, Canada, France and Mexico. Secretary Blinken traveled to Jamaica to attend the high-level meeting on Haiti to address the ongoing security crisis there and expedite a political transition. The meeting in Jamaica was the culmination of months of intensive engagement with and among more than 39 Haitian stakeholders representing civil society, the private sector, political parties, and interfaith groups, as well as international partners to bring to an end to the violence and political stalemate plaguing Haiti. The Secretary thanks CARICOM for the key role played in this process, particularly Jamaica's Prime Minister Holness for his leadership on Haiti and for hosting the meeting, Guyanese President Ali, current chair of CARICOM, Barbados Prime Minister Motley, and members of the CARICOM Eminent Persons Group for helping to facilitate consensus. We welcome yesterday's announcement of a transitional governance structure in Haiti, which paves the way for a peaceful transition of power, continuity of governance, and action plan for near-term security, including the deployment of a multinational security support mission and a pathway to free and fair elections. We commend Prime Minister Henri for his statesmanship in putting his country first and agreeing to step down when the Transitional Presidential Council is established. His decision comes at a critical point for the Haitian people. The Secretary also thanks our international partners, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, France, and the UN for facilitating and supporting the meeting. During the meeting, Secretary Blinken announced an additional $33 million in humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, as well as an additional $100 million for the multinational security support mission. These are important first steps to achieving free and fair elections and providing the peace and security the Haitian people deserve. We recognize there is a great deal of work that remains to be done, and the United States is committed to continuing to support the people of Haiti. Heavily armed gangs have tried to seize control of Haiti's main international airport, exchanging gunfire with police and soldiers in the latest attack on key government sites. An explosion of violence has taken place in the country, including a mass escape from the country's prisons. Henri's resignation comes hours after gang leader Jimmy Cherizer Barbecue threatened hotel owners who were hiding politicians. Jimmy Barbecue, a former elite police officer who now runs a gang federation, has claimed responsibility for the surge in attacks.